bug bite on my forehead. That itch okay. Hi, so this has been my go-to outfit recently. It's Sophie Corso merch, so like, love that. It's super cute. But it's literally just a hoodie and leggings and no free feet pics for the internet. And like, no shoes because I don't go anywhere except for when I go to work, but that's a different outfit. So I know some places my stay-at-home order has been lifted, but I also kind of I'm still staying home a little bit because like the only places I want to go anyway are closed, aka the thrift stores. So I'm still staying home a little bit and I'm just taking this time to like really plan out my outfits. So when I go out, I'm like stepping out and they're going to be really cute outfits. <laughs> what I'm wearing and what you should be wearing once everything is lifted and everyone feels safe enough to go outside without a mask on because I mean masks can be a fashion statement, but not here. Not now, especially not in the summer. And I especially need to fix my wardrobe because it's 115 and I'm wearing a hoodie and leggings. Here is, a, this is what I've been wearing. First of all, let's talk about jewelry. So as soon as I'm stepping out for summer, I will be wearing the Honey by Lex summer line. I have the cutest little safety pin necklace with the matching earrings on. It comes in gold and silver. Little heart. Heart like locket, a little starfish, and this. I also have the cutest little butterfly earrings. I have them in white as well. And I have a matching necklace for those, but my boyfriend stole that from me for the time being. I'm gonna take pictures in those today, so those will be up on my Instagram, but if you guys wanna have your own stuff, this all comes in silver and gold. Gold just really clashes with my skin tone, kinda makes me look ugly. But if you want to get some for yourself, you can use code thank you Colleen, T H A N K U Colleen C O L E E N for 15% off at checkout. I know I talk about this a lot, but it's literally like the cutest, my favorite jewelry ever. And Alexis is just like the sweetest girl ever, and she deserves a whole world, so like buy her jewelry, please. So I'll be wearing this new stuff every single day, but outfit number one is this. So this is what I'm going to wear to the cute little local coffee shops to take Instagram pictures. Top and skirt are both from Princess Polly and these shoes are from Target. This is like the first time I'm not wearing sneakers or my docs ever. I feel like this is just like the most Instagram outfit that I've ever put together so you'll probably see it when everything reopens. The top has like these little flower details and you can tie it to either be really high or just like not as cropped. I'm super obsessed with that. Okay, so outfit number two is what I would have worn on the last day of school to accept my A from my news writing professor who constantly bragged about the bad grades that she gave other students. This one's for you, Maureen. So I got a flex on her with the fancy shoulder pads to show her that I can be professional, but you can see my belly button. This blazer I thrifted, I don't know where it's from originally, Top I also thrifted, but you can get the exact same one from Brandy Melville, and the jeans are Sun. And this is my belly button. So basically, <laughs> she used to brag about how constantly we had eight huge papers for a whole semester, and her favorite thing was to tell her students that every single student gets a 55 on one of those papers for some sort of mistake. I never got a 55, so I got an A in the class. But despite being one of the best students she's ever had, that's an exaggeration, I'm sorry. But despite being a good student, one day one of my other classmates came up to her and was like, hey, I'm going to be covering this press conference. What kind of stuff should I wear there? And she looked over at me and she said, just don't wear that. So apparently my belly button and shorts were too much for her even though it was just like in a classroom on any random day and I wasn't actually gonna wear that to a press conference, but honestly kind of obsessed with the shoulder pads though. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit naky in this one, but this is what I would wear to Sedona or the California beaches if I could be going there right now. So I feel a little naky, oh my god. But this cover-up is from Brandy Melville. It's supposed to be a top, but I kind of like it better as like a swimsuit cover-up. And then the swimsuit itself is from Urban Outfitters. It's got like a little side shoulder kind of thing. 
and it ties in the front. It's this really cute orange color with like cherry blossoms on it. But this is what I'm gonna wear as soon as the beaches and stuff are open. Number three. Number four, this is something I really want to vlog. This is something I really want to vlog in or take photos in, maybe self-portraits or something. Recently, I've been super obsessed with the slightly longer shorts trend. You know, because my butt's not hanging out then and I feel like it's just really a look. And also, if you get tired of them being too long, you can always roll them up a little bit, but I love this length. So these shorts are from PacSun, these are Doc Martens, and this shirt is from Princess Polly. I also just really like this color of satin and everything, and I feel like it's really good for pictures and whatnot. So this is outfit number four, vlogging and stuff. Number five. Where's my... Hold on. Number five. This is what I'm going to wear as soon as it's safe for all the gyms to open back up and people can start working out like normal. I'm going to flex on everyone that I have the brand new Starbucks color changing cup that I drink my nice cold water out of. And we got some biker shorts. I know these are controversial, but honestly, I'm obsessed with them. This is Summer McKean and Billabong collab. And then these are my Ultra Boost. They are pink and they sparkle in the light. But gym is best, definitely one of the places I'm missing the most, but also definitely one of the places that I want to wait until it's really, really safe to open back up. I'll show them the necklace he stole from me. Baker shorts! What? Show them the necklace he stole from me. Oh, the necklace that you gave me? I look really cute in this necklace. Butterflies are my new thing, Chief. Okay. Are you gonna be loud when you pee? What? Are you gonna be loud when you pee? Yeah, I can't wait for my gym to open back up so I can look like that girl that doesn't know how to work out. Alright, and finally, number six, this is my thrifting outfit for when all the thrift stores near me open back up. I'm wearing clothes that I thrifted, so when I walk in, they know that I mean business. I also... I also have my very own plant. We're starting a growing collection together, so you know I mean business because I'm one of those girls that thrifts and has plants now. I love him very much, but he does not have a name yet, so I mean, if you want to name him, you can leave that below in the comments. He's very beautiful. This top I thrifted from the local thrift store. It's called Deseret. I know they have it in Arizona and Utah. I don't know where if they have them anywhere else, but it's really big and really like thrifting there. These shorts are Princess Polly, and then I'm wearing my docks again, and all my Honey by Lex jewelry. And I can't wait for the thrift store to open back up again. So that's all the outfits I put together today. Let me know any other outfit vid videos you guys want to see from me, any other videos in general you want to see from me. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye! Try. I'm like shot and make it better over time. How you know? I heard you say I'm not the baddest, but you love